Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from Beardman Studios, and in this video, I wanted to show you what uh, this inconsistent line endings, OSX, Unix, all this stuff is about, and how we can resolve it. So, uh, there are many ways that you can quickly resolve this, but I'm going to go in through the technical way so that you can understand why uh, this is actually showing up. So, uh, what we have here is it says there are inconsistent line endings. Uh, in this script, some are for Mac OS X, which also uses, which is Unix, which Linux also does, and then we then there are some for Windows, and it's wondering why is there this inconsistency between the line endings. So I'll show you quickly what that is and uh, how we can resolve it. So inside of this uh, script, because this is where the problem is at. We can't actually see the line ending differences. I'm just going to get rid of that using statement because it was bothering me. It wasn't being used. So we can't actually see the line endings. So what we can do is we can do a control F to find. Uh, I'm inside of Visual Studio. So if you're inside of Mono Develop, it'll work, or Xamarin Studio, whatever it's called now. It'll work pretty much the same way. Just open up the find. And what you're going to do is that you want to find slash in. Now, when we put this, it's not going to be checking for uh, the new line character that we're used to. So slash r slash in will not work either. Notice nothing is found. So if we turn on this right here, which is basically the regular expression uh, checker where we can write regular expressions, we can notice that slash in is on all of these highlighted areas. However, it is not on this last one because it's not a new line. Now let's put a slash r slash n. So notice that uh, we do not have it up here on the Unity engine. So let me go back to slash n. Notice that is on the Unity engine and on this line because uh, in the Unity scripts, they're actually saved with just a slash n. A slash n is basically a new line. It is an escape character, uh, so an escape n, and we, I might have a tutorial on escape characters later. And on Windows, we use slash r slash n, so we escape r, escape n. This is a carriage return. So uh, if you've ever done anything inside of like a Windows command prompt, and if you've used slash r without a slash n, you'll notice that it wipes out the whole line and you can keep writing on the same line and updating it and it makes it look like it's constantly updating. So uh, that's the difference between slash r slash n and slash n. Now notice that uh, we don't have it here. So if we wanted to, I could go in and I can actually go and delete this and do it again or whatever. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work in Visual Studio. Let's find out. Yeah, it worked there. So notice that um, I can actually go through and edit it manually instead of the text. However, a good way to do it that, uh, that you can do through here if you already have this open, just so that we can understand these uh, escaped characters a little bit more, is if you think about it, uh, we, if we have a slash n and a slash r slash n, what we could do is we can replace all slash n's with a slash r slash n. And now what that's going to do is actually cause something goofy. Notice how we have this here. So what we're actually winding up with now is slash r slash r slash n uh, because we replaced all the instances of slash n with slash r slash n. So now we're getting slash r slash r slash n. That's a lot of slashes. This is a tongue twister almost. So if I went ahead and replaced all this, it's actually going to bring it down to the normal uh, setting to making all lines, including this one that you saw wasn't working, uh, slash r slash n. So if we come back into Unity and it compiles, you'll notice that we don't get that message anymore. So this video is just to get you an understanding. Uh, Visual Studio actually has a line conversion uh, tool. And this tool will actually pop up whenever you open up Visual Studio. Uh, it'll pop up and say, hey, do you want to convert the line endings? You can say yes, don't ask me again, all that stuff. And uh, that's basically what it's doing behind the scenes. Another thing you can do is that you can actually go and locate uh, the file that creates this template. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop open where it is real quick. So here inside of my program files, Unity, Editor, Data, Resources, Script Templates, I actually have the script templates here. 
And you can modify these script templates. Uh, I believe you do have to close Unity first uh, in order to save it. And this is also in a program file directory, so you'll have to have admin privileges. Uh, but for example, we have the C Sharp script here. Um, so if I took this and dropped it in, you'll see that it has this whole setup. And what I could do is I can set up this script. Actually, I don't even like those things in there. I can set it up uh, exactly to how I want it. And once I do that, I can also go ahead and replace my slash n with slash r slash n and replace it slash r slash r slash n with my slash r slash n if I wanted to. But there was no slash r slash n in this file, just slash n ends. Uh, then I could save the file. And of course, I'm going to have to have admin privileges and close out Unity in order to save it. But basically, you just want to overwrite that file. And then uh, every time you create a new script, it will no longer have those weird old line endings. So there you go. Uh, I just see that a lot. And I had a lot of questions from that back when I was uh, uh, teaching a class. The, a lot of students were asking, how do I get rid of this? And what is this for? So I thought I'd, I'd just point that out to anybody who had questions about it. So uh, that's, that's them evil line endings. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you soon.